Welcome back everybody to Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. And as you can tell, it's a little bit of a rough day. It'll be interesting to see how our captains fare as they step in the ring and try and do battle with the inlet. We do got some changing conditions today. It's supposed to get a little better as the day progresses. But let's go ahead and step into the first round of our competition, see how our first boater fares. And here we go. We've got a pursuit making its way into Hallover. They're coming in a little slow for these kind of conditions. Oh no, they're gonna stop it. And my man just runs back into the cockpit, leaves wifey sitting up there by herself. Oh no, he's probably gonna to pay for that one a little bit later on but they were just coming in a little too slow i know everybody always talks about speed but i'll tell you what when you're coming in a little too slow that rear wave can catch you like we just saw there it picks the stern up and the next thing you know you are filling that bow with water but man i still love this right here our guy just takes off wifey finally gets the hint and she's like oh heck to the na na and she starts working her way back into the cockpit too and unfortunately for them, it's going to be a loss for the boats in the first round. But here we go, heading into round two. Let's see if our captain here can have a little better luck. And of course, it's a deck boat coming through hall. No, don't get sideways, bro. Oh, they get smacked over the beam. And our girl in this boat is not feeling it at all. I think there's a kid on the floor as well with no life jacket on. What a mess. But our crew is going to do the full 360 and start to work their way back into the inlet. But... There, there was a lot to digest right there. We're going to have to come back and look at the slow-mo replay on this one. I mean, it's definitely a loss for the boats. They stuffed the bow, but right here you can see they kind of get sideways. The crew takes the smack on the beam. If you look at the girl, though, you're going to see a kid just to the left of her on the floor of the vessel as well. We start coming right back out. All of a sudden, we bounce down here, stuff the wave, and man, it's just a rough day for these guys. And the boats take a loss going down two to nothing early as we move into the third round. Will Hallover end this one early or can the boats find a way to sneak back into this one? And here we go. We've got a little sea doo speedster out here ripping up Hallover. And we've seen images of these boats in Hallover doing some pretty wild things. And this looks like one of those crews is going to try and do it as well. They've got the throttle pinned, riding it out, getting air, having a good time. And man... As long as they don't stuff the bow, I don't see anything stopping this crew. And here we go. They're entering the mouth of the inlet, and it looks like they're going to be good to go and finally take a win for the boats and be the first boat to get on the board today. And let's see if that's what the boats need to make the turnaround and try and come back in this competition as we move into the fourth round. And here we go. And this power cat says, out of my way, center console. And these guys are picking up the throttle. And actually, the center console's coming in chase. So they're not going to just let them get away with this one. Our guys are starting to move. But it's going to be an interesting race. Let's see who will pull this one out. I mean, the cat should. I'm assuming it's got the higher top speed. And they're just bouncing across the top of the water. Here comes the center console in chase. But both boats make it out. And the boats will take a win in this round. And that brings us back to a 2-2 two to -two tie as we move into the fifth and final round of our competition. And here we go. We've got a bow rider. And it feels like it's been a little while since we've seen one of these, especially in this risk of a spot. Oh, my. That boat almost. Whew. It got sideways in the surf, and our guys were rocking and rolling. Gonna be honest, this Sea Fox is kind of reminding me of that pursuit we saw in the first round. And there we go. Captain finally picks up the throttle. They were just coming in a little slow, and I was concerned with the person in the bow, how that was gonna fare. But I'm assuming they're coming in slow because she is on the bow. I mean, come on, guys. Just move her to the back, and you can get it over with. But they're gonna slow walk it in i just don't feel like this is a good idea or safe so you know what i'm gonna have to go ahead and give this crew the loss they're just coming in a little too slow and i'm gonna go ahead and give this victory to haul over and that's gonna give haul over the win in this episode thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this episode of boats versus haul over if you did please check out our other content we have wavy boats who does a bunch of great things down at haul over inlet my channel broncos guru do some great comedy boating videos there as well and of course we've got the miami boat ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens to the boat ramps in south florida and if you guys haven't already go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.